Hello everyone, it's Simon and uh, this is a, uh, well actually it's a false maiden, I've had a two minute hop beforehand but this is the uh, remaiden of my modded first fly ballast build. What's different, it's got a Taro integrated tail unit on, I've uh, rebuilt the lower frame to include a gyro tray so the ZYX is now in it. Oh gosh, it's got some. Oh, it's sunny up there. Be careful, Simon. So uh, yeah, the, the the ZYX now is inside, and uh, it's got a two two one eight motor, Turnigy Typhoon two two one eight, and yet it flies ever so well as it did before. Really pleased with that. Nice and smooth. Running a higher head speed. I've just had the taco on it and it's running 3000 whereas before it was near the 2000 800. This is the Turnigy Typhoon with a 12T pinion gear and a throttle curve that troughs in uh, position 3 at about 80%. I'll have a look at the Ingleburns here and just see what I'm running here. Because it's got oodles of power. The all-up weight is about just under 590 grams without battery, so it's lightweight. And the heading hold is very good with the Tokyo motor, but it does sound like the one-way bearings on its last legs, doesn't it? I don't know whether you can hear, there's a, a bit of a rattly noise when the blades pick up speed. That's a shame. hope the onboard camera is still nice and smooth. Everywhere is looking very green. We had, oh there's Penny having a good yap. We had over an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of rain yesterday. A complete washout, so that's why I fiddled about with the helicopter. I took the motor to bits actually to give all the bearings a good lubing. With LaBelle 107 of course. Gosh, not easy to undo the um, screws on the cooling fins. But yeah, this 2218 motor, or the um, SK3, what fantastic motors. Could even consider stepping this down to an 11T, because uh, I like to run them wide open, really. Ah, that's very good. Yeah, the tail seems to be good and vibration free. I put an align main shaft in there because uh, I've got one. Not main shaft, sorry, tail shaft, I think you understand me. Yeah. The wind's just getting up a bit. Just that all hell let loose, a pheasant in the greenhouse. Caused right havoc. Oh, there's the timer. Oh, a Brian landing. My goodness. I think I'll buy an line main gear, I think, to. Uh, Yeah, there we go then. So uh, there's the uh, Taro integrated tail unit, uh, more or less a single piece gearbox. I like that. Very nice. Just a slight fault that one of the uh, bearing recesses was slightly over machined, so I had to stud look one of the bearings in. But that's no no issue. There you can probably see the uh, ZYX on its own shelf. I like that, it's less vulnerable in there and it tidies up the wiring. And uh, probably in there you can see the motor. And that's a powerhouse, especially with the added efficiency of the fly unit, the uh, 
The helicopter doesn't half have some go. That pitch pump I did right at the start of the video was only sort of half the collective. I like to let it prove itself before I really uh, throw it around too much. So I'll just have a few more gentler flights and then make sure everything, all the screws are holding together. Then uh, hopefully I can take it to the field and let it rip. Okay, well thanks for listening to me and uh, bye for now.